so yeah, that was our personal Taylor Swift concert experience. But I did want to get into something a little bit darker. Drums. Yeah. Drums. Uh, maybe even more than drums. Maybe yeah. like dangerous yeah. drums. Yeah. So this is very intense and I'm going to try and get this video because I don't have the video and if I can get it before I upload this video then I will put it somewhere in here. But the guy that I talked to about this is my dad's friend and he has no reason to lie to me. Like he he didn't like do this for any weird reason. Yeah. He just came up to me and he's like, hey, your dad said you went to Taylor Swift. Did you go to the one in Boston? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, okay, well, I have a story for you. And I filled you in on this a little bit. He came, he called me after he found this yeah. out and was like, you will never fucking I was me. like hyperventilating. Yeah. It's insane. It really is. So basically, in between when the artists are playing, in this case, it was between Charlie XCX and Camila Cabello, there's like this time where the next artist is getting set up. Yep. They're getting ready to come out on they stage. They play videos. Yeah. Yeah, they play some videos on the screen and they play some music so that you can just like wait for the next artist to come keep you your energy level the music. up yeah right okay so the guy who told me is my dad's friend from work and he has a brother and his brother took his two kids to see taylor swift young kids young kids at this same concert they went to the gillette stadium um in massachusetts on the same day yeah. that we went the first day so in between sets they were dancing and his brother the the one who this happened to was filming his two kids dancing he had a son and a daughter and so they're like dancing to the music they're getting all into it and all of a sudden two metal butter knives it's so fucking intense two fucking metal butter knives come flying down from the balcony above and literally hit his child in the arm well, like one of his kids gets hit in the shoulder and the other one got hit like sort of here and got like a scrape um so the one with the up. scrape it like slid and yeah. the one on the shoulder it like hit and yeah. bounced off so what he the, the one with the shoulder was really yeah. fucked up but yeah. basically so these two butter knives come flying down these are young kids yeah right? young yeah yeah like like under 12 six eight yeah. ten okay. like somewhere yeah. in there yeah, yeah. um and so, yeah, these knives go flying down, and this dad is literally filming his kids. So he has this on yeah, video. Yeah, he, he has the captured footage. it on video. He literally, like, obviously for a second, it panics. He's like, what the fuck just happened? It's like, happening. Oh, my yeah. God. And then, so he stops the video. He picks up the butter knives, and he goes to take them to security to talk about, like, how the fuck this happened. So now I want to talk about the security a little bit. This um, <laughs> does not make sense. It doesn't make sense. sense. Like, it literally doesn't. Like, I... I don't know how this it's happened. It's not possible. I don't know how this happened. It yeah, it doesn't make possible. sense. Okay, so basically, we don't know how these people got these butter knives. Because yeah. when we were going in, they gave me trouble over my diabetes supplies, they which is a medical thing. everything. Yeah, they literally search there everything. There were three metal detectors that yep. you have to go through. Yep. Three checkpoints. And then two more security people who check your bracelets. And, like, just the level of security. Yeah, it's a huge stadium. And they're about to play a Taylor Swift concert. You're only allowed to bring in like, bags, like, this big. They yeah. have to be clear. Yeah, you know? it was, like, all the whole shebang. Like, yeah. you could not get in with anything. So there's no way these people could have snuck the butter knives in. Because, just... like, those are two pretty large metal butter knives. And also, if you're gonna sneak something in past security why to a, a concert... Butter why butter knives? Why metal okay. butter knives? Or even if you want to hurt someone, wouldn't you bring, like, a steak knife? Something that could actually uh, hurt someone? Not a... I'm just saying, yeah. a butter knife is, like... Not... It's yeah. bizarre. Yeah, it is so bizarre. So basically... We have no idea how they could have ever gotten those in. Yeah. Like, unless security fucking sucked, but, like, I can't imagine. The other way that they may have gotten these butter knives is up in the balconies. Like, if you look up, you can see food vendors up there. Like there was, like, a dogs. subway. There was a hot dog place. There was some coffee. Like, all the way up in the stands, yeah. there was, like, those little food vendors. And so you could go over and you could get your food. And we were thinking, like, maybe, possibly, they somehow got metal butter knives from something they ordered at one of the food venues. But, like, there's no way no. that these food venues would ever give people, especially in the balconies, these metal butter knives. Especially, yeah, with the level of security. Yeah. They would never... First of all, even if they did have metal utensils, they would make you stay there and eat it there. And you're, yeah. and you're allowed to take your food and to your seat. And they just wouldn't. Like, they that wouldn't even wouldn't. be a problem. They, they just, just would not. Would yeah. Not. So basically, like, so weird. it makes no sense. No. Yeah, like, there's no fucking way they had these butter knives. But they did. Like, he yeah. has it on video. Yeah. He literally, his kid has a bruise on his shoulder. Yeah. Like, um... And why would someone throw them? Yeah, like, 
a Taylor Swift concert, there's obviously going to be kids. Yeah. You could easily kill somebody they like that. They threw them into like a if pile you hit, of kids. If it hits you in the, in the head wrong, yeah. like that could damage you. It, like yeah. so fucked up. Oh my God. It like shakes me to my core. Yeah. Also, they were just so high yeah. up. That like no, Falling from a long distance. Yeah, and they're metal. Yeah. So like they're falling pretty fast. Yeah. So basically... He's all upset, obviously. Mm -hmm. His kids just, like, got attacked with literally fucking knives. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so he what takes his fuck? video, he takes the butter knives, and he goes and talks to security. And he's like, hey, like, this is a fucking problem. Like, how did these people get butter knives? Yeah. How are they throwing them down at my children? Yeah. Like, you need to answer for these, for these fucking actions. We can't even have caps on our water bottles. Yeah, they wouldn't even let us have caps on our water bottles when we bought them. But somehow, they had butter knives they in there. They had butter knives. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. He tries to get them to, like, help the situation, figure out how this happened, go find the people, like, do literally anything about yeah. this problem. Mm -hmm. And so the guy says... I can't do anything. I am not a high enough, like high enough in this situation. I'm just like a field security guard. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to contact the head of security. And so he's like, okay, well do that. Like get that figured out. And so he calls the head of security and the head of security and gives the head of security this guy's number, the father's number. So the head of security calls the guy and he is like bitching at the head of security. Like this just fucking happened. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? Blah, blah, blah. And so basically, the head of security says, okay, okay, we'll get this figured out. I need to call, like, the guy who runs Gillette Stadium or the guy who manages it or the high up at Gillette Stadium and figure out how the fuck this happened, figure out what the fuck we can do about it. Like, we need, we'll need, we get this figured out for you, don't you worry. We will call you back within 48 hours once we get everything figured out. And it's been over a week, yeah. and he still hasn't gotten any yeah. call back. So they were just literally like, oh, your kids literally got stabbed with butter knives thrown from above? too bad yeah. deal with it yeah and so and so like obviously at this point so he's just goes back into the concert because you're not gonna leave he spent yeah. hundreds and hundreds of dollars to bring his oh kids to this concert but literally both of his kids were miserable yeah. terrified obviously. they're just sitting there like whimpering yeah. holding their shoulder like looking up like so scared ruined that more concert. fucking knives are gonna come down yeah. yeah like literally ruined their concert experience yeah and so far they still have gotten nothing like, I don't know what what they would be able to give them, but, like, do something. Yeah. Like, do something. Or at least call them and, like, reassure them. Like, look, we we couldn't figure out what happened, yeah. but we're going to... Even if you're just bullshitting, just say, like, we're going to step up security. Don't just ignore like, it. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. And he obviously doesn't have the number for the head of Gillette yeah. Stadium, so he can't call them back. He can't annoy them. Like, yeah. he didn't get any of their numbers. So, basically... We had a great time at we the Taylor Swift concert, and like 40 feet behind us, yeah. some kids literally got stabbed with butter knives yeah. that were thrown from the balcony above. Yeah. Holy shit. So fucked it's up. It's so fucked up. I know. Like, I don't know if I've ever heard a more fucked up story. But yeah, the security, from what we saw, from like surface level, it seemed really good. Like, we definitely had to go through quite a few checks. Yeah. But, like, if somehow butter knives got smuggled... But, like, what? No. I'm so confused. No. Why would people smuggle in butter knives? And why would they just throw them? Just to throw them? Like, that doesn't seem worth it. Like, why yeah. would you try... I guess butter knives, you could be like, oh, I didn't realize those were in there if yeah. you do get caught. Yeah. As opposed to, like, a steak knife where it's like, oh, I'm not trying to murder. Yeah, but, like, at the same time, though, like, what's the point? That's still kind of, like, you don't need to bring butter knives to an event. Yeah. Yeah. For any reason. No, of course not. But I just mean, like, if they're bringing it in their bag and they get Why caught. would you have butter knives in your bag, though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to... I'm, like, trying to figure out how it yeah. happened. Because it's just so unbelievable. The only like, thing... Like, if I'm being totally honest, yeah. I think what probably happened yeah. is the food vendors in there. Because you do. That, you think... I Because... The security the metal, was good. The metal detectors... Yeah. It would have gone up, even if they had literally... But did they... They didn't put our bags through metal detectors, right? They just put them through the x-ray thing. But they or searched they just the bags. Them. Yeah. They Maybe they had them in, like, the lining? Seems like a lot of trouble to go through for butter knives, though. Like, yeah. I don't so know. So it I is possible, understand. I guess. But I was going to say, the I guess... For me, what I was thinking is it had to be something that they got inside the stadium once they were already in, but that is so weird because and who so has dangerous. metal utensils yeah. in a stadium? No one does. Oh my they God. would lose them constantly, yeah. you know? Yeah. They have to use plastic it's because plastic. it has to like, be disposable. That's, that's Yeah, it, it's disposable, yeah. and that way you can literally not have anyone almost die. Like, yeah. there's no reason to use metal ever. Yeah. Not once, not no. never. Like, not at Gillette Stadium, not at any concert. Like, you don't need metal fucking butter knives. Yeah. 
So anyway, this is gonna be probably a bit of a long video, but I really wanna get all of my different like bits of footage in. I really wanted to explain the concert and how much fun we had yeah. and the adventures. And then also like I needed to tell that story about mm -hmm. the knives because like, that's Crazy. so fucked up. Crazy. Yeah, and it literally happened behind us. I know. Like we were literally there just like bopping, like dancing, yeah. like, and it happened behind us. It's so like, crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, oh, and I hope you guys enjoyed my best friend Leilani. Mm -hmm. She's the best person in the entire world. I love her so, so much. Love um, you. Love you. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you enjoy me, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.